Lewis understand evangelism? Well, I, I mean, I think he sense he, he he says that that God does things in in the course publicity of human endeavor, and it acts things about which we must talk about. He says this in the introduction to the Socratic Club at Oxford, the first meeting. Socratic Club was set up where non Christians would read a paper one week, and and the not a non Christian would read a paper and the Christians would respond. Next week, a Christian would read a paper and the non Christians would respond. It was just this ongoing debate, and many people uh, came and read papers there. Some of the leading academics in in the English speaking world at that time would come. But Lewis said, these are things we must talk about. God did this. God did this in our world. And it's something that we should not be quiet about. And Lewis himself in his own life engaged in these sorts of things. I don't think he considered his gift as a gift of evangelism. But I think that it doesn't make any difference what your gift is. We don't get a pass on evangelism any more than we get a pass on giving, even if we don't have the gift of making. You know, Mm. all, all the gifts... All, all the areas of giftedness in the scriptures were all called to function in. Some people have a special aptitude for a particular one. But Lewis had, had a serious relationship with Christ, and he wanted people to know about him. So how, how does he do it? He, he engages in the Socratic Club at Oxford University. His letter writing, he was clearly evangelistic in many of his letters, and he's writing to non-Christians. You had the BBC broadcast that became Mere Christianity, where he's publicly doing these things. World War II, he was out uh, ministering to the RAF airmen who were dying by droves, but he felt an obligation to come and share the gospel with them before they died. Um, He would talk with some of his students. He would talk in ministries in various ways. He would preach at churches. He, He was out there doing these things and sometimes took flack for it among his academic community, too. But he felt that these the, the, the need to share about the love of Christ transcended anything that was, uh, for him, a career interest, whereby he would take his career interest and say, forget the gospel, I've got my career to run. That's pretty courageous, I think, on his part. 